What are you feeding your brain during these times? Hey, listen, I've been a big proponent. Uh, anybody who's kind of followed along with me and listened to me around professional development, around daily reading, around uh, now listening to podcasts or audible books on your drive and really feeding your brain with positivity, with new ideas, with learning, always growing, always evolving in whatever position you're in. Uh, and I've been very disciplined on this over the last 20 years or so, uh, you know, averaging a book a month, 12 books a year during this process. And it's helped me tremendously in my career. It's helped me tremendously in my personal life. I blend professional development with personal development, always, always trying to learn, uh, always trying to stay up to date. Uh, and, and, and again, feeding myself that positivity. And one of the struggles I've had during these times with COVID and, and now the social unrest is that as CEO at Service Express, I feel I need to stay up to date and current on these situations as much as possible to help me as I lead the company and, and navigate our company through these times. And so I'm, I'm on Twitter a lot. I'm on some of the uh, news sites often trying to get information around COVID and around the social unrest and trying to learn, stay up to date and, and help lead us through this. And which is great and which I need to do. And I have been learning a lot through this time. That's the positive part of it uh, and has helped us as we've gone through this. My executive team is, is doing the same thing. The downside is I'm ingesting so much negativity, so much negativity trying to stay current. I mean, Twitter has some great qualities. Uh, if you follow sort of the right people as far as positive, motivational, affirming, those things, it, it can be great. Uh, but trying to navigate and stay up to date on these topics, uh, I'm just ingesting, along with good information, just a ton, a ton of negativity. And I've really, really seen it affect me in the sense, uh, you know, at work and at home, um, my outlook on things, I've really had to fight for, for some, for positivity. Uh, I'm shorter with people. I'm just, man, it's been trying times. And I know a lot of you have gone through trying times during this as well. I mean, it, they, well, they are trying times, uh, for sure. So, but what I've decided to make a change while I'm still going to stay up to date and current as I need to, I'm just going to limit, uh, really the sources. Uh, I want balanced sources on both of these issues because there's not just one source that has all, there's different perspectives. So I think you have to stay balanced in, in how you, you vet through these. Um, but I'm going to limit the amount of intake because there's so much out there and there's so much negativity and in, in, in the, in the news is filled with so much negativity. And I've got to redirect some of that back into uh, professional and personal development. Positive sources, I've got uh, two or three book uh, recommendations that I'm going to dive into here and get back to that discipline because quite honestly, I've gotten away from some of that 10 or 15 minutes of daily reading. Uh, it's kind of been focused more on news consumption and current event consumption, trying to stay up to date. So I just wanted to throw this out there. It's been on my mind. Uh, I've noticed the impact and the effect and uh, I got to do something about it. So getting back to, and there's plenty of time in the day to have that discipline of that 10, 15 minutes or so, uh, you know, really want to start forward looking, forward thinking, innovation through all of this and look to come out of these situations stronger and better as a company uh, and as a person going forward. So I hope this helps. I hope if you're caught in this web of negativity, find your outlet, your out, your out lease on this, you know, your release, uh, get yourself some positivity professional, personal development, thinking forward looking and, and what we're going to look like and how we're going to look like and behave and achieve coming out of all this. So good luck. Go forward. As always, stay safe and stay healthy.